tiny. Hey guys, it's here. This is the new open spot too. And uh, man, is this thing small. It is just tiny. Fits in the palm of your hand. It weighs almost nothing. And uh, I'm gonna try to hook this thing up. No instructions, no nothing. I'm gonna do it out here on my phone with a portable battery pack. That's it. This time on K6UDA Radio. I'm gonna attempt to hook this up with no instructions, no nothing off the internet. I'm gonna do it right here on my iPhone. Let's see how it goes. Okay guys, uh, <laughs> the outside deal did not work so good and it was the fault of my, uh, of my power supply here. It just doesn't put out enough to keep the open spot uh, powered up to full power. So, back in the shack here, I've already hooked this thing up, but I'm going to show you exactly how to hook it up. So now I've got the access point active. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hook this thing up. So on my phone here, I'm going to go into... Uh, my wireless settings I'm going to hook up to the open spot access point it automatically brings up open spot 2 wants to go to United States and now we're going to hook up to my wireless network and you guys don't get to see my password so we'll hook that up now connecting the blue light is flashing we'll plug that one back in it's hooked up so we're gonna go into the quick setup here and uh, let's go into D star to begin with. So I want to go to XRF frequencies. I have my my uh, D star frequency set up here, so everything is already set. I'm going to go ahead and change that over. Open spot connected to R E F zero. Charlie. So let's go into the quick start and we'll try DMR. I have three different frequencies set up for three different deals. So now I've got everything else set up. Let's connect it. Okay, you can see green lights blinking. Everything is working here. And now let's go back and we'll hook it back up to C4FM.000. Normal deviation. Uh, let's go to FCS. And I've got all my stuff hooked in there. Connected to XCS 3 room 90. 
So there you go. Hooked up to, uh, what is it? Uh, D Star, DMR, and Fusion all within uh, just a minute. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's the initial setup. We're gonna change it off to the uh, to the big screen here, and I'll show you exactly how the software works. All right, guys. Uh, moving off to the big screen here. And I am going to show you guys exactly how easy it is to switch from mode to mode in the new Open Spot 2 and a really cool thing that, uh, that you can do with it. I have a DMR radio, a Fusion radio, and a D-Star radio all lined up in a row here. Uh, currently, radio number 2 is, uh, is currently hooked up to the Open Spot under Fusion. We're going to go over here to the quick setup and let's start off over here with D Star. We'll go to the XRF reflectors. I have my uh, D Star frequency plugged in. Uh, we're going to go to Reflector 30 Charlie and we'll go ahead and connect it. Open spot connected to RPF030 Charlie. And that's how easy that is. We'll go back into the quick setup here. And you can see if I clear my log, uh, I could go in, I can key up. Shows me in there. Go back into the quick setup. Let's go into DMR. And uh, this one is 4442275. We'll go to the Brandmeister network, and I kind of have it set up where I want to go. Let's take this one to TAC 310. Go to TAC 310 here. So you guys uh, notice that when it's receiving, it's red when it's uh, receiving an outside communication. So anyway, now my DMR radio is uh, completely set up there. And if I key up the uh, D-Star radio, there it is. And I'm talking to a different talk group, so it actually came up, worked really, really nice. You'll see there, it's showing that uh, dynamic talk groups uh, 310 and 3106 are listed in there now. So uh, we'll go back over to C4FM. And this one has... 436.00 as my frequency and I'll explain why I'm doing different frequencies in a minute. Let's go to uh, FCS connectors. We'll go to the wires X room and open spot connected to FCS 3 room 90. Uh, uh, BTA long you're clear. So now this one's up and running. The reason I've got three different uh, frequencies for three different radios is I keep three different open spots up and running all the time. So each one of them has their own and I can run uh, two or three different modes at a time. Now, here's something that is very, very cool. We'll go to C4FM, we'll go to the Brandmeister network here, and uh, we'll move that off to TAC 310. Oh my, I can now use my Fusion radio as a DMR radio? 
You remember hearing this on the DMR radio. Well, now this is up on TAC 310. And you'll see, uh, and you'll see there on the screen here that uh, this is up and active. So if I key up here, it just showed me up on TAC 310, C4 FM uh, to TAC 310. There it is. There has been a whole lot of confusion on how to get uh, your open spot to okay. actually to actually uh, uh, see uh, uh, to actually be able to yeah. run off your iPhone and see it on your iPhone, see the uh, web screen, and be able to uh, control it. So here's what we're gonna do. I created. Uh, over in these settings different profiles and right now you could see this one here says well, C4 FM it's profile one C4 FM we are hooked up to the uh, to the open spot oh, yeah. network yeah. here I'm, I'm gonna hit my and, uh, button down here I'm going to go to my second profile two, mobile two hours and 20 minutes change my profile That sometimes helps. Turn the hotspot on. Open spot. Trying to connect Wi-Fi network. Okay, so I've got something connected here. We'll see if it works. There it is. So I am now controlling it. Export my call log. I can go into... Uh, my quick settings, I'll go into C4FM, there's my frequency, let's go back to FCS, we'll go to America Link, we'll connect, Open spot connected to FCS 3 through 90. and there it is guys, going back to the big screen, uh, what you need to do is enable advanced mode down below that's going to bring you up a lot of extra features. Now you're going to go into your settings and I'll show you where it is or actually let's go to network first and we'll go down to the network settings and I have created a second uh, a second setting down here in the wireless settings. We'll go ahead and scan but the phone's not in there because I don't have the hotspot turned on. But anyway, down here in the setting number two, create your phone setting. So after you've hooked up your phone to the uh, open spot there, now you're going to name a uh, configuration profile as mobile or whatever. And when you're ready to, you'll go ahead and switch off to that mobile setting. That's going to enable your phone to hook up very very quickly and then you can actually uh, control it from your phone. So I can now take this anywhere I want and operate whatever I want. If I wanted to swap this thing out for say my D-Star radio that's gonna be just as easy. Let's swap it out for D-Star XRF will connect it. Pod connected to RES zero three zero Charlie. There it is. All going through the uh, through the hotspot here on the phone, and I am controlling it from the phone. All right, guys, that is a quick look at the open spot two from Shark RF. Uh, I know this has been a long video, so I'm going to cut it off here. I'll do another video with a complete review of the open spot. And uh, look, if this video was helpful to you, if, uh, if you liked it,
please give it the thumbs up. Give it two thumbs up and share this thing wherever you can. If you already haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button right now and the little bell notification so you get notified when I put out a new video. I'm done. That's it. Uh, I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3, my friends.